Hey everyone, I'm Morgan. And I'm Paul from MTG North, an unofficial Magic the Gathering Canadian channel. And here's Greg from Tabletop Giant. Thanks Greg, as always, for hooking us up with this sweet convention edition Ooh. of Mystery Booster. Yeah. So we're filming this on Sunday after the release. We waited a couple days. We were busy. Um, prices are <laughs> really dropping compared to what people thought they would be. We're still doing it. Yeah, man, this is cool. When are you going to get a chance to open Convention Edition Booster Box? Exactly. So, we didn't want to make this a long term investment. We have enough right now, and we're going to open it. And plus, we want you guys to see uh, one of these open too, right? I'm not sure that a lot of these openings are going to be on YouTube. Maybe they are, maybe I'm wrong. There's a few, but not, tell you, not a lot, right? But way less than a regular set. We wanted to do it for our viewers. And we drafted this Friday. And pack one, pick one for Morgan was, of course, the Slip Drazi Monstrosity. Of course. Which was insanity. So, we've already hit that. It's for sale, if anybody wants that, or any other any other things we open on the video today. So let's do it. Yeah, I'll see what's in here. I like this stuff. Awesome set to draft. Any of the mystery boosters. It doesn't have to be convention. You know, it was weird to draft, I'll be honest. It was hard to put a deck together. Now, now let me tell you my problem. Pack one, pick one, still dropping monstrosity. I'm like, oh, I'm playing this. I'm playing this for <laughs> sure. And then I just ruined my chances at winning the draft. But I didn't care at that point. That's right. You had already won. <laughs> That's right. MTG North had already won at that point. Okay. Fit Hazel Dragon. A Savage Knuckle Blade from Cons of Turkir. Cue the Beatles, Paul. <laughs> Look at that long line. The cue. Hey, which one do you think's John? Which one's Ringo? Uh oh. Where's George? That's Pete Best. Oh! The fifth Beatle boy. Anyways, oh, let's oh. get it. <laughs> Cue the Beatles, all right. So yeah, if you're looking this stuff up online for prices, make sure you do not get the old one and the new one mixed up. Right, because right. the uh, old ones on these cards have Planeswalker symbols, the new ones do yeah. not. They came out in 2019, I believe. And like anything else in the collectible world, the first edition is always worth more. And mm -hmm. it's true in this case too. Which is weird. This stuff was supposed to be played at conventions, right? But then... Well, uh, this, they reprinted it, clearly, because they've changed the playtest cards, right? That's right. Well, even the packs look different. They never used to say 15-card booster on a pack. The old packs just said Mystery Booster Convention Edition. Did it have the 13-plus logo on it? Uh, I'm not even sure. It's a tough one. Kyron Wanderer. And the second rare. The Changeling. Bear with Sets Mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive. During your turn of combat phase... With aggressive man tech. That's, <laughs> all right. That's the set's mechanic. That's and you got a shape shits at horse. Well, no, it's a bull. I don't even know. It, it can be any, it's, it's everything. It's just a changeling. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, fun draft, right? Those play test cards are fantastic. Yeah, it did make the fun draft. I drafted a card called the Red Herring. <laughs> and had I have played, it was my last game in the third round. And I realized I could have been cheating out Slivdra uh, Sliv Drowsy Monstrosity with that card the whole time. Yeah. I could have just been playing it for nothing, <laughs> but I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh. You were starstruck. I you was. Got the good card. I'm just going home. <laughs> yep. Night of Dawn from Tempest. That's nice. cool. Ooh. Commander Teferi. Uh, that's pretty good. Because the only way you get this Teferi is by buying Commander 15, I believe. You get to buy the blue one. Oh. So, see, he's the only one that can be oh, your commander. Oh, there's some bad Teferis too. Right? Yeah, you see this one? Yeah. Can be your commander. That's important. Man, that's cool. Oh, baby! Nice, there's a head. Except for the corner. The corner's dinged, so that's not worth anything. <laughs> How bad is it? How bad is it? It's light play for sure. Who wants a light play slim visit? No planeswalker symbol. That's cool art, though. Look at it. I love that. Yeah. All right, so that's cool. And we got uh, our Teferi there. Yeah, it's a $4 card. Oh, Teferi. that's too bad. And also, the print quality on these has been pretty bad, I will say. Just dings and dings. Dings and random things. It's like they did repack them or something. Yeah. They opened up all the old ones, damaged yeah. all the cards, and repackaged them. <laughs> Short sword from Dominaria because that needed a reprint. There it is. Hippie. Not the hippie you want, though. And uh, oh, the arch. Buried oh, over. Oh, R.I.P. or not? Whoa. <laughs> the hippie and the arch. Hmm. 
Path to Exile. That's an uncommon. Right, right, it's right, right at the beginning, yeah. It's Phyrexian Rager. Sounds like a party. <laughs> Beat a black chief. Praise Vengeance. Sandstone Oracle. Oh. oh. One of the first ultimatums. Yeah. Art is fantastic. The Steam Flogger Boss from Jeez. Unstable. <laughs> and you know what? It's now black bordered. Is that legal? Oh, that's a great question. It's now black bordered. It's not silver bordered. Yeah, maybe. Well, probably not. This was printed on an old Planeswalker. Oh, yeah. It is a Planeswalker. Yeah, that's that's an RA hit as far as the playtest cards go. Was it Domri? It looks like it was printed on Domri. Cool. Yeah, it's nine US right now on MCG stocks. Well, yeah, we had to use MCG stocks. Uh, they got the prices listed for the new set. Some places are not listed. That slip is at seventy six US. Yep. But ours had a dang corner. So it's fifty six so, US. Full of anger. <laughs> the blinding. <Blighting. laughs> The Great Furnace. A Soren. Oh. From Zendikar. In the list. That might be a little better than Teferi was. Mr. Mitch. Squid Napper. Yeah, the Soren's about 15. So far, so good. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in the set. Was it 1,200? Something like that. And it doesn't say on these ones because it just says the number of the original set they were in, right? Oh. See, like that was card 30 oh, in yeah, Ultimate yeah, Masters. Yeah. 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 yeah, the front's totally the same. See the little symbol? Ooh, so a lot of commons in this pack. A lot right? of Dominaria. So yeah. <laughs> the commons coming through here. Rose Main Center. Roma's Monument. The War Gate. Oh, Dragon Lord Ouija He's good. Is he? Yeah. I know. I know he is. He's got to be 20. Frog and Kidnapper. The Frog <laughs> Rogue. Uh, oh, it's another $5 card. Oh. All the cards you thought were good. Well, they used to be good. Dragon Lord, Ujitai, yeah. Five and change. Oh, this flying double strike sky spear cavalry. No? I think that's the Bulkaroo. Ooh. Llanowar. Elephant Guide. A shipwreck singer. Uh. From Conspiracy. Sweetwater Cliffs. The Ancient Ziggurat. Ah, Caged Sun. Personal nice. That's Ziggurat. a good one, too, man. We're doing pretty good on the playtest cards. It's a Planeswalker duck. It is. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, 27 US. Yeah, that's pretty good. How about a Caged Sun? Caged Sun. Computing. <laughs> well, it's one of the better ones. They're selling at 750. Nice. A lot of rivals. Dragons of Tarkir, M15, Hour of Dev. I think that was like a... It's gonna be one of them weird decks, right? Dual deck? Or it was a dual deck thing. Yeah. It's like elves versus something. Versus tree folk. The no. Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Armillary Sphere. The Floodgate. Open up the Floodgate. Beacon. And a Lazier Goblin. <laughs> lazier. So lazy. Like me on this Saturday afternoon. Sunday. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> and the beacon's another like four dollar fare. Hidden. It's a hidden stockpile of cards in these mysteries. The Great Pelt Refuge. Nemesis of Reason. I have no idea. Oh, it's a heck of a milk. Oh, it's Black Market. That was in Jumpstart, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. As well. How about domesticated water course? <laughs> I've never seen that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my, it's a dual land. That becomes an equipment artifact. <laughs> wow. Uh, 461 American. 
461? No, four dollars and sixty one. But hey, you can open packs of cards where you get like a three to five dollar card in the bag every time. Yeah. It's not bad. Instead of getting flumped. Flumped. <laughs> oh, no, we don't want to get flumped. <laughs> Treacherous, trepidation blade, tinker. tinker. Serendib. Ooh, that was one of the cards they changed the art on. Because there was a spelling mistake, apparently. <laughs> in, oh, yeah. In the Phyrexian text. Oh. Or did it look like something it wasn't supposed to look like? No, it was just a spelling mistake. Oh. Is Yogmoss testing anything any good? It is 22 American oh. right now. So I would say yes. Oh, I love that wall. Wall of a thousand cuts. Oh, those are big cuts. It's so sharp. Bewildered. Stab wound. I'm disappointed they took a Ristic Study though. You cannot get it in this version. Was it because they reprinted it so much recently? I don't know. Maybe it's coming out again soon. Um, that is a misprint, and every card is like that. I'm glad we pulled that on camera. Cool. Every Phantom Center is like that. So All the writing's printed in black. Yeah. It's cool. Eh? It looks because it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks like an old Legends card. Yeah. Yeah. But don't overpay for it. Two headed giant, but not two headed giant of forests. That's right. That is the world travel. How about this biting remark? Knowledge is power! <laughs> Scry cast. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. Good for your Scry Commander deck, please. Yeah. <laughs> I see something cool in the back. Me too. It could be, could be good. Right. got a passage. It's a couple bucks anyways. Yep. Spawning grounds. Jasconian Isle. Oh, it's an <laughs> island fish. <laughs> oh, I love. The island fish Jasconians. Yeah, I love those ones. <laughs> it's a bulker. Two oh. bucks. Too bad. Maybe we'll keep that one. <laughs> yes. Oh, careful how you hold the card behind sleep there. Never what? mind. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> oh. Did I hold it like this? Yep. <laughs> All Deep right. anal sleep. Deep I don't analysis. get it, Paul. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. That's great. <laughs> Come on, man. My mom watches these videos. Hey, listen, your mom knows all about that kind of stuff. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she does now, Paul. Gaunty. Ooh, isn't Gaunty worth something? He used to be back in the day. Yeah. How about the sweet blood poet? Computing. Yeah, Gaunty's five or six. Nice. Still to this day, blood poet is four twenty. Four dollars and Ooh. twenty cents. all the master sets uh ultimate so masters old, yeah. eternal masters and then we had uh my masters two yeah i'm just cheating by reading the bottom of the card now that's the boros challenger deck isn't it or the uh gk1 oh guild kit one maybe <laughs> we cracked one to sell the angel on top of remember that was a while ago yeah nice i joined shields Phyrexian Metamorph, Decree of Justice, and you're in command. Oh, nice. Mm. Change up the whole commander. That's crazy. Any other commanders you have are no longer your commander. Hmm. Oh, yes. We need the dinosaurs. Late Ward Witch, Lawless Broker. Oh, Fervent Strike. Memories of Fervent Strike. We played that in Standard. Not the Iron Trade Crusher. Hey, Sakishima. He's... He was 18 Canadian. That's yeah, how it's on Facebook box. this morning. Yeah, that's decent. Recruiter of the Guard? Uh, I don't remember. You gotta watch some of those conspiracy ones, right? Bucket list. What is this? That's awesome. Huh. That's fun. That's cool. Ghost Blade Idol um... and Soul Artifact. Good Pioneer card. Yep. Dr 
dragon brother. Priest of Titania. Yep. That is some money, I believe, is it not? I think it's like five bucks at least for a common because look at that what it does. It's a, it's a very good. Yeah. One of those, yeah, it was a common 10 years ago. <laughs> it was printed in Urza's Saga. Yes, you are correct. You can get an Urza Saga Slate Play right now for 10 bucks. Nice. The Gitrog Monster. <laughs> pure Steel Angel. It looks sharp. Ooh. Does that go with the Pure Steel Paladin? It must. It must. That's a pretty good pack. Thank you. That's a little Gitrog at these days. Yeah, he's still around 10. A little more. Nope, sorry, eight. Oh. Bring the shock. The Anna Sanctuary. It's uncommon. Supreme. Supreme. That really dropped in value. Remember A that? Check and Supreme. Yeah, they were 25 bucks or something. Yeah. Impatient Iguana. <laughs> He become the starting player. <laughs> nice. Come on, Mana Crypt. Yeah, very good 750 nowadays. Ooh, keep on screen. Palace Jam. Use coin crab. Pinchy pinchy. Ooh, ooh. Roast. Elvis Visionary. Rough Rider. Gateway Plaza. Chaos world. Hmm. Plain merge elf. Land ship. <laughs> Weird. Fun set, man. Fun set. Yeah, What's coming super, up next? On the super channel? fun to draft. Now that we're past this, we gonna do another investment video, Morgan? Yeah. Of course we are. Thanks for the positive feedback on the first one, guys. Appreciate that. Have some more discussions. Might talk about original printings being oh. worth being worth more. Not this one. Not that one. Remember, this is the Double Masters one you didn't want to get yep. in the VIP. <laughs> yep. And your entity enroll in the coalition. Ooh. You are the flag bearer. But yeah, I think based on this set, right, you really got us talking about how the first printings of something, even if it's not on the reserve list, yes, can really hold value. We're going to talk about that. Roshin Meander. Meteorite. The Rich Dad Footpad. Nice. Queen Marchisa. That's a good one. Yeah, she's cheesy. <laughs> That's the form of the Mole Drifter. <laughs> you may cast creature cards from your hand as though they were the card Mole Drifter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the regular Marchies is still around eight bucks. Nice. Or it, was, it was in the Atch day. Yes, right that's right. Yeah. It used the, the foil one from um, Conspiracy. Yeah. Boy, it was spicy priced. Forever. Lightning Helix. The booby actually. Dragon oh. Broodmother. Nice. That art looks awesome. Yeah, it does. Adorned Pouncer, King old Greg. Barry's land. Yeah. <laughs> Basic land, cloud. <laughs> I love it. Look, it's Barry. Hi, Barry. That's the first and only basic land cloud. <laughs> so far. Walk the plank. There's an old awesome card. Ooh, nice dragon. Goblin trenches. Oh, it's missing the stamp. Oh, it is. Good eye. Eldrazi Devastator. Oh. Impending Disaster. Aetherflux Reservoir. <laughs> Corrosion Adaptation. Corrosion, yeah. I'm not sure if that's any good, but. All right, last pack, everyone. Last pack, here we go. We had adaptation like three US. Oh. 
Maybe we're about to pull a monstrosity of the back here. For a monstrosity of a last pack. <laughs> Roots. Jungle. Assemble the Legion, not good. Pile driver. Mm. Frenemy of uh. the Guild Pack. Alright everyone, thanks a lot for checking this out. Uh that's fun. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with the prices of those cards, eh? That's right. Because supply is so limited. That's right. Like, I know we know our LGS only got six boxes and he can't get any more, so. Yeah, it's one and done. So, we're going to keep an eye on it. Yep. See what happens. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to hit that sub button if you haven't yet. That's right. And uh, make sure to check us out for our next discussion video. We're going to be talking about, uh, I think we're going to do. Uh, first printings. First printings. First printings and, and just. Uh, you know, weird uh, things that happen, right? The investability of those printings. Anyways, yes. hit the sub button. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.